So I go to a truck show, okay, uh, today, and, uh, well, this happens. Like, what the heck is going on with today's society? I mean, we're out here moving military equipment, and, uh, doggone, they getting stuck on the train tracks. I mean, I thought these oversized haulers were the best drivers out here. That's what I always thought. Then why do we got this crap going on right here? Like, dumb, dumb, dumb. Like, why? Like, why are we doing this? For crying out loud. And then we freaking gripe and complain about those old fellers from the uh, other side of the world coming over here. I wonder if it was one of those fellers wearing the flip-flops wearing these. Listen, real truckers don't wear flip-flops. I'm just saying. But do real truckers do this right here? <laughs> I mean, it's so dumb. It's freaking dumb. Like, I don't even understand why the reason why these people are allowed to drive a semi-truck, all right? This, this guy should have pilot trucks with him. All right, you're making this turn. And, and you got no daggone pilots with them? No pilot cars? Say, hey, you probably can't make it over this, this uh, two g track. It probably ain't happening. All right, doggone. I wonder how much this tank cost anyway. All right, that's what I'm wanting to know. How much is this gonna cost American taxpayers? <laughs> oh man, shame on the mess. There is some movement. And I don't want to, I don't want to, well, maybe choose my words. There's some movement. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the there's been a response from the opposition. But, um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. But it seems to be uh, a little over the top. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe looks sleepy. Oh, sleepy Joe, he may need a nap. Maybe if he had one of our mattresses, he can go get him a nap. TheTruckersMattress.com.